Hi, today I have two easy questions for you and I recommend you to stop video here, uh, read the questions, choose the answer and uh, when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question. In a case of incomplete dominance, the cross of two monohybrid parents would produce phenotypic ratio and here is the four answers that you may choose from. And here is my explanation. So what monohybrid parents means? Uh, that means that we have one trait that is mono one, and hybrid means that this trait present uh, uh, or represented with two alleles, or one trait would be one gene, and one gene would be represented with two alleles, and one allele would be uh, incompletely dominant over the other. For example, uh, parent 1 would be capital A and small a, and uh, parent 2 also would be monohybrid, so would have one allele that is capital A, another one is small a. And when we build a Punnett square, when we cross such two parents and for example uh, this trait would be a trait of the color so both parents would be uh, of the the uh, flowers would be of the pink color and the progeny would have uh, genotypes as follows so capital A capital A here capital A small a here and capital A small a here and small a small a here and as long as this dominant allele for example that stands for the red color and uh, small allele a that stands for the white color uh, because uh, capital or dominant allele a is incompletely dominant over the recessive allele uh, the color of the flowers wouldn't be red but would be uh, some intermediate color like pink color so this is why uh, these two parents uh, not uh, doesn't have red flower flowers but pink uh, unlike in simple Mendelian genetics where uh, dominant allele is completely dominant over the recessive and color would be red here we would have a pink color. So when we have two uh, alleles that is capital A, uh, the flower color of the flowers would be red. And once again, when we have uh, heterozygous genotype, the color would be the same as of the parents that is also heterozygous. So the, uh, the color would be pink. So let me uh, change the thickness. So here would be pink, 2 out of 4. And here we would have red progeny. And of course when we have two recessive alleles, the progeny would have flowers of the white color. So we have ratio 1 to 1 red to 2 pink and two one white. Uh, of course if we take uh, this trait as a color uh, there can be different traits uh, and as you see uh, the uh, correct answer would be A so we would have uh, one two two to one ratio and uh, next question is in a case of alternation uh, of generations a haploid plant would be and here is the five uh, answers that you may choose from and i would start with answer a uh, gamete gamete is just a haploid uh, uh, version of the organism gametes would be produced by females and males and my uh, female gametes is uh, um, X and uh, 
male's gametes would be sperm and uh, in the plant kingdom uh, they are going to be pollen. So uh, zygote is just uh, egg that is uh, fertilized by pollen and uh, sporophyte is deployed uh, organism uh, when we have alternations uh, of generation and spore uh, consider its uh, equivalent of the sperm and uh, in the plant kingdom of course so um, answer E we just left only one uh, uh, variant that is gametophyte and uh, as you see gamete is a uh, haploid cell and uh, gametophyte would be haploid organism so uh, organism that uh, consists of haploid cells so each cell in such organism would have only haploid number of uh, genes and uh, alternation of generations means that such uh, uh, plant may, may produce uh, also plants that would be uh, deployed uh, for example in uh, uh, anim animalia uh, uh, we would have uh, some uh, representatives also like for example in insects uh, bees can be uh, haplodiploid for example queens are deployed and uh, workers would be haploid and workers always males and uh, in uh, plant kingdom there is much more uh, examples for example all the mosses and uh, liverworts uh, uh, ha uh, can be uh, haploid and diploid and uh, uh, haploid uh, cell may uh, develop into multicellular organism that would be gametophyte so the correct answer would be E and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video goodbye